The fourth annual Super Bowl of Preaching is right around the corner and you are not going to want to miss it. We've got pastors facing off in a battle of wits and wisdom, the likes of which you've never seen at a church before. We'll have refs to keep the game fair, commentators and field reporters just like me to let you know all that's happening in the game. And don't forget, we've got an epic halftime show and commercials that really keep things fun. You'll come early to tailgate and stay late for more fun with dollar sodas, dollar hot dogs, and bounce houses for the kids. This week, I got to visit all of the players at the practice field to hear how they're preparing for the big game. First, I met with John Burke, the veteran and captain of the champions team. Let's hear what he said. Now, John, some people are saying that you don't know much about football and that you don't even know much about preaching. What do you say to them? I don't know what they're talking about. I am the Super Bowl champion year after year. Um, that's all I really need to say, I think. Yeah, that speaks for itself. Now, we've heard about your JB60 diet. What does that entail? Yeah, Camille, really, that's how I remain a champion year after year. I'm pretty religious about this diet. It's, you know gluten-free, sugar-free, uh, corn-free, GMO-free, water-free. Oh, wait, no, I can do water, um, but pretty free. Okay. It sounds fun-free. Yeah, pretty fun-free, too. But, hey, I'm a champion. What can I say? That's true. That's true. Now, it's called JB60. Is that because you're 60 years old? No. Why, does, why, why do people keep thinking I'm so old? I'm not like Tom Brady. I, I mean... You know, but my body is important, and, you know, it's how I stay spiritually in tune. What does the 60 mean, then? Well, 60-60, of course. Ah, got it. Got it. How could we miss that? All right. Now, we have heard that at South Campus, every time you mention soccer or sailboats, they have to take a swig of their coffee. What do you think about that? Well, I think while Master Yoda's leading drinking games down south, we're serious about preaching up here, so bring it on. Wow, a challenge. I like that. Well, speaking of Eric, Eric Bryant, he does have a book signing this Tuesday at Book People, 7 p.m. As a, an accomplished writer yourself, will you be there to support him? How do you feel? Yeah, I've got an indoor soccer game that night. Okay, all right. Um, why do you think they didn't ask you to come and speak? At Book People? <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious. I live in the north. They're like that 78704 bookstore, right? They don't even let people in from the north. It's, it's obvious. That it, that's obvious. Definitely obvious. Well, um, um, he's excited about his book coming out. What do you, how do you feel about his book? It's a great book, but how many times can you release the same book? Oh, you know, it's the 10th anniversary, so he's looking to re-release it for people of faith to really start to love and serve and influence in, in this divided world we're in. Well, good for him. That's great. Okay. All right. Awesome. Now, you are going to be alongside the new champion, Kenny, this year. Um, he's being billed as your sidekick. How do you feel about that? Hey, I only have one thing to say. We are the champions, my friend. Oh, mm -hmm. yep. Can you hear it? I hear it. Okay. Wow. Awesome. Well, well, thank you, John Burke. We're so glad to have you. Wow. Well, if you missed Eric Bryant's book signing, it went really well, but you can always catch him at South Campus any Sunday. Now, we see that he's running quite the publicity engine with this book signing and even with extra watch parties like one in Dripping Springs. Check that out. He's the captain of the contenders, and we got to see just how he's preparing for this big game on the practice field. Let's hear from him. Eric, let me ask you, is it true that at South, every time John Burke talks about sailboats or soccer, you guys have to take a swig of your coffee? No, of course not. But I have tried to convince John that in South Austin, we don't use sailboats. We use paddle boards and kayaks. Got it. All right. Now, we know that you grew up in Texas, just like uh, Case Keenum and Drew Brees. They weren't really recruited by the big Texas schools. Is that why you left for Los Angeles and Seattle? You know, I'm actually a champion. I don't know why people keep referring to me as a contender. Did you see the toe touch last year? I, I don't really recall, but no, that's great. We love that. That's great. Now, Kenny Green called you his Yoda. 
Do you take that as a compliment? You know, I don't know why people keep referencing me as so short. I'm actually taller than John Burke. Why do you think he doesn't know anything about football or basketball but talks about soccer all the time? Wow. Okay. Got it. All right. And, and let me just ask you, while we're talking about the veteran John, do you have anything to say to him? All I have to say is I want to see how tall he really is. That sounds like a challenge. I'm just going to ask you while you're here, are you wearing lifts in your shoes? So who is this other champion? Kenny Green has been around Gateway for a while, but he just got his first big championship last year. Let's hear what the sidekick had to say. Kenny, now you're being billed as John's sidekick, but you're our champion from last year. How do you feel about this? No, I'm, I'm really comfortable with that reference. When I think of John, I think of him as sort of an Obi-Wan Kenobi in my life. So I'm okay with that. All right. Last year, you referred to Eric as your Yoda. People, people are a little concerned that you don't know much about football because you keep making Star Wars references. No, I know. I love football. I watch the AFL all the time. And the reason why I refer to Star Wars is because when I think of John, I think of kind of the Luke Skywalker to my Rey. Okay, but Rey is the female character, so are you... Rey is the hero in the story. Okay. All right. Great. Okay, now you have done most of your preaching, your teaching in downtown central Austin. Uh, how do you think that's all going to play up north? Oh, I think it's going to play great. As my tribe knows, down central, uh, the force is with me and, and I'm one with the force. Well, hopefully the force really will be with Kenny Green, but you're going to want to show up to find out. Last but certainly not least, we've got Justin McCarty, affectionately being called the rookie. Justin, you've had a great rookie season. What do you attribute that to? Should I, should I talk into the mic? Like, oh, no. I, yeah, just, just okay, uh, well, you know, when it comes to an opportunity like this, it's, it's awesome to be even just competing at this level. I mean, I remember when I was a kid watching John Burke preach on TV, and now I'm going to be on the field with him, man. It's, it's amazing. That's, that is great. You're ex oh, what are you doing with your hands? What do you do? Okay, all right. Well, uh, you are competing alongside the perennial contender here, Eric Bryant. Do you really feel like you can help push him over the edge and bring home a victory? Yeah, I, I mean, well, yeah. I mean, Eric's a great guy. I mean, he's writing books like 10 years ago. I couldn't even read back then, but uh, he's a good guy and he's bald, but he's good. He's good. That's great. And so what are you doing to prepare for the big game? Well, you know, when it comes to preparation you really you get sorry uh you gotta you gotta really think that through and i find eggs are helpful uh, uh and uh and basically you know drinking a lot of water it's good that's awesome let me just ask you this uh when you picture jesus how do you picture him I, in my mind ain't nothing better than a good eight pound six ounce newborn infant jesus <laughs> Okay. Okay. So just like around Christmas time or? Well, I mean, he's, he's, he, he's like eternal, so he can always be the baby version if he wants to be. I guess that's true. I guess that's true. All right. Well, uh, is there any one last thing you'd love to say to the fans before the big game? Um, fans are awesome. And, and uh, you, you got to be there. It's going to be great. Awesome. Thanks, Justin. Thank you. Wow. Interviewing a rookie can be tough, but let's see how all the players show up on the day of the big game, February 4th. Make sure to join us. Come early to tailgate. Stay late for more fun. But if you can't make it out, please do join us on our online campus. We hope to see you at the big game. I'm Camille Hall for Gateway Sports Network. Thanks for watching.